Hello friends, my name is The Real Meal, and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo for you, but today we're continuing on with a Let's Play. This is episode 72, and in today's episode we're taking a look at the four-wheel drive challenge in the Professional League. For that we need a four-wheel drive car, and luckily for us, I won a four-wheel drive car not long ago. We're using the FTO. Woo. Because it's sexual looking. And it's four-wheel nice. drive, which is good because we need a four-wheel drive car. And oh hey, we can do a thing to it. Of course we're gonna do a thing to it. I mean, of course we are. Have you literally never seen an episode? 120 horsepower, holy shit. Yeah, in an FTO. <laughs> Congratulations. Look how tiny it is. It looks cool though. I like the FTO. It's a cool car. I like the FTO LM edition even more because it's a cool car. Anyways, 966 horsepower, four wheel drive, it says cash roll on the side of it, which means it's going to be quick, obviously. <laughs> Anyways, back into the professional league we go for the four-wheel drive challenge. Special stage route 5 in reverse Laguna Seca and Deep Forest Raceway. Let's go! <laughs> Yay. Oh my god. What? I found a Dodge Harmony GLH. The whole baby, how much? Three five hundred bucks. Wow. It's pretty swagging. Forty five hundred bucks for a turbo. You should buy Hatch it. Back. Trade in that firebird. The promises again. Huh? Anyways, uh, our competition apparently is uh, not well set up for this. <laughs> the fastest car they've got is an R34. We've got a race car with six headlights for extra headlight. Well, at least it's not the ME412 where it has like many rear tail lights. Yes. Bye bye competition. Yeah. Oh my god, this thing is clean. Oh, the GLH? Yes. Isn't that a Shelby on there, or...? I think it's just a GLA Shelby didn't do the thing with this one. Shelby did do things that with could be. I, I knew I know Shelby did do things, but I think it's just a normal GLA. Hmm. Q? Do you want it? I do want it. You should trade in the Firebird for it. You should <laughs> go up to the owner and say, Hey, I know you got this really nice car, but listen, I got this really nice Firebird. And it might be <laughs> worth something one day. And you should be interested. And then the man selling it can go, At least you tried. Yes. Here's the keys. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. FTO. It's a big fast. What do you think of the FTO, Scotian? It is a car. It is a car. That is indeed a good observation. It also has a gigantic <laughs> wing, I'm just realising. Also, the blue on this car looks really good. I just realised something. Go on. Chevy stole this wing. Chevy stole the wing. Yes, it's pretty much the same wing design as the on the SS. What fucking SS have you been looking at? I want to know which SS that is. Yeah, the supercharged one. Oh, the Cobalt. Yeah. Oh, um, I thought you meant like an actual like Chevy SS. No, not that one. See, that's the stupid thing with them calling a car the SS. It's now like the SS. Wait, are you talking about the trim level SS, which was for years and years, or are you talking about the thingy SS? Same design, just not as big. Well, no, not really. I wouldn't really say a Cobalt and a Holden are related. Well, they I mean, the wing. 
I mean the wing. Eh, I guess. Wang. Wang. Hey, LLC. Did you get a new kink? What? Man? Welcome to episode 72. Here's the FTO. Jesus fuck, I've been trying to talk and I've completely forgotten that fucking push to talk is enabled. Nice, nice. So, so yeah, I'm currently on the hunt for a screwdriver. Why because I need to dismantle this PSP because it stinks of nicotine. Oh, is that what came in the mail? Yeah, I bought a PSP that has been modified. Nice. So. I should like use my PSP. I like how the game console I've been playing the most as of recently has been like this and the fucking PS3 I have to play for Grunge's Mode 2. Oh my. Which I really wish I didn't have to, but oh well. I could use PS2, but I can't be bothered. And the PS3 has Smooth in it, has my 100% progress save game on it as well, so. What's Cutlass today? Cutlass. Oldsmobile. Oh, it's not this mustache one. The mustache what? Mustache Cutlass. Kind of. Not really. The Must Cutlass. Mustache. The Mustless. Gutless Cutlass. The Gutless Cutlass. Well, it's 1975. Quarters Cutlass. Well, yeah. How much power does it have? Uh, little. Twelve. Probably. Yeah, I'm sorry. This race is going to be really unbalanced by the looks of it. Do you care? No, the best car that showed up to the grid is a Skyline R34. Uh, you're incorrect, it's an all-wheel drive FTOLM. Well, yeah, but... Watch as all of the Skyline fanboys in the audience instantly begin to rage. Oh, I alienate them when I... What? I called the Skyline something, I can't remember. I took the piss out of it in one episode. 1975, it had a... 455 rocket V8 that made 190 horsepower. What a rocket. You <laughs> <Yeah>, bad. <laughs> that sounds so rockety. It's not like the engine probably yeah. weighed about a thousand pounds on its own. And why do you like 70s cars again? They say they look cool. They don't know. So I always looked at the 70s as being the time in, of the Dark Ages. Where we had the Pinto. And the Vega. And the Chevette. And the Mustang And the Corvette too. that didn't make horsepower. The Mustang yeah. too, the worst car in history, the whatever. <sighs> And the Chevrolet Camaro kept existing. Isn't that what it does anyways, regardless of what we do? Yeah, you can't really kill it, unfortunately. Well, I'll let you know, didn't they kill it for like a couple of years in like the 2000s? Can't kill the Camaro, they just come back to more ugly. Well, yeah. Then they get like, once in a lifetime they get a generation that's like, wow that looks cool, and then they're like, wait you like this? Let's ruin it by adding more and more fins. And now the new one. 2014's at 28, and then 2015's like, why? Yeah, like the 2014 actually looked kind of cool, even though if it, was, it was clear that they were just trying to rip off the Mustang's whole sleeker styling. Uh, the Mustang didn't come out until 2015. Yeah, but there was some pictures of it before. Oh god, this thing is fucking gross! That was a sick drift. Uh, so, if anybody wants motivation for not smoking ever for the remainder of their days, I have a PSP that I'm ripping apart here that I'm sure you 
you can want to get your hands on. It is like covered in this nasty haze and it stinks. So it's full of nicotine. Basically. Yeah. I'm gonna wipe my hands off before I continue to touch this because this is disgusting. That can be taken out of context. Uh, I should be wearing gloves. In fact, this entire conversation could be taken out of context. Everything can be taken out of context. The Subaru is pitting for some reason. Yeah, we were just saying in that last episode how literally none of the cars actually pit during the course of that episode. Mm. Save for some of the boxes at the end. Which is a bit weird. Oh, right, let's see. Yes? Do you know how good it feels that this game is coming to a close soon? Uh, very good. Believe me, I can imagine. There's professional races and endurance races to do the worst bits in the game, but we're almost there. Hoorah! I have faith in you, Emil. You can do it. The completion state's looking a bit better. Hmm. Because we've completed... I can't remember. What was it last time I looked in it? Like 80-something. Almost 80 We'll look at it at the end of the episode. Yeah, we always do. I think it was 79.5 at the end of the last one. Oh no, the skyline's pitting in. Maybe it's because they're so unreliable. <laughs> dirty, 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 dirty. Literally everyone's pitting in, apparently. Is this how the Toyota's going to win? How the fuck do you remove the screen from this thing? Nope, never mind. Yeah, it's screwed in the place. Thanks. Question, how are you? How do you fit into all of this, Mr. Mr. Johnson? I like how we keep filming on really quiet days for some reason. I don't know. For some reason, Angel still isn't streaming yet. Presumably because he got home late and he's installing spark plugs in his car. Hey, you Luke. should forget about streaming, Jones. He's going to be a gigantic cock and go and do his own thing for a while. You know, live streaming. Oh no. I remember when, like, there used to be a semblance in HG of, like, planning stuff and then it just went all to crap. You mean to tell me people actually planned out what the hell they were going to do? Oh, yeah. Man, this is this. Like, people wanted to plan out, like, oh, I'm not going to stream, I'll let you stream, and then, you know, I'll do it afterwards. And then, and all now it's stuff. just... Everybody is doing, doing their own thing and shoving coaxial cable in and out of their assholes. Or I something. Stream, you stream, I'll stream. Well, to be fair, it's like when it comes to these, like yeah, I announced them pretty soon, and it's like oh, Angel stream. It's like I didn't even realize because I'm fairly certain he tries to stream pretty much every day now. So. It's Thursday, but that's about the only day that really matters because that's the only real day that I actually go and join him. Yeah, but you see, like the last time I paid attention he streamed yeah, well, on Fridays yeah. only mm. and then occasionally on Tuesday when a car park came out yes and now he's doing whatever the fuck now my head exploded from a night of G and, that, and now you have to do the freaking car pack review uh, I'm not doing that oh. I've decided I there's no real point. I really wanted you to see to see you try to steer the gasser. I mean, I'll play with the car. I haven't even booted up Horizon 3 in, like, over a month, so... <laughs> Don't... I mean, I'll play with the cars. You can hear my reactions. It's just like... I could have made a video on it, but it would have been really late, and there wouldn't really been much point to it anyway. I missed the first car pack of Horizon 3, so it only seems right that I missed the last car pack of Horizon 3 as well. Is the Hoonigan car pack actually going to be the last car pack for I don't know. Well, there's no point of releasing anything else now, is there? Forza 7 mm -hmm. comes out in September. For us Ultimate Edition assholes. 
I think the only reason they bothered releasing this car pack is there was like, well, we're going to add the models to Forza 7 anyway, so may as well chuck them in Horizon 3 while we're at it. Yeah, I imagine it's the last car pack. I'm just curious to see what they'll do expansion-wise for Forza 7 now that they can't expansion pack Porsche anymore. Oh hey, we get 30 grand for these races. Yeah, that does confirm my theory then. Hmm. You get paid more and more money as these particular races go on. Neat. Anyways, Laguna Seca is next. Oh boy. It's a licensed track in a Gran Turismo game. Oh my god. How many of those in total do you think we have? Five? I don't know. Kappa. I was just seeing what goes on in different servers. Uh. God. Thunder's playing GTA 5, apparently. Thunder's playing GTA 5. Angel is installing spark plugs in his car. Oh, nope. We have an eight. We have a wild thunder. Dang. We literally just Dang. said your fucking name. What the fuck? Like, the moment I joined? Yeah, like, we was literally just, like, I was looking through the Discord server, seeing if anything go was going on, I said, oh, Thunder's playing GTA 5, and then you join. I, well, I am playing GTA 5, but I am here. Hi, Thunder. Hi. We're driving the, the uh, HG colored FTO. Uh, hooray? Hooray. Hooray. So we spent the last episode driving the GT1 road car and speaking about the Chevrolet Caprice. So and then I was... Yeah, yeah that that's literally missed? what you've missed. Yeah. I heard a Discord notification go off. Does anyone know what it what is? It was Thunder joining us. No, like, a uh, message notification. Oh, I don't know. Did anyone else get anything? I didn't hear nothing. Are you sure you're not just hallucinating? No, I want to check it quickly. What should be like something really interesting? Oh yes, um, furry boy is. I mean, uh, Angel is going to slap you. Why? Uh, fast sedans with personality and not another charger, apparently. What? Uh, what? You. It, it was car chat and trackside, and you're like, so not another charger then? Did the insurance company write it off and give you the money? What Him. Is? Fast sedans with personality. Quote unquote, not another charger. The truth is out there, I'm going to smack you. Odds are it has to be another charger. We casually talked about cars like the G8, the CTS, the Chevy SS. She's not digging them. They have to have personality. Either look sexy or look mean, which the charger did. Okay. It did what? So. I don't get why I'm going to be slapped. Uh, because it's like fast, fast sedans with personality, and you were like, so you're not getting another charger then? No, it's just because he was speaking about other cars. I I don't know. I don't know. I I didn't really pay attention. I'm not really paying attention today, right? I watched the cyclist. I I, I watched the cyclist almost get killed today. That was interesting. Well, it's a cyclist, you're not probably supposed to feel remorse for that. No, he got knocked yeah, off his bike, actually, to be fair. It was, it was a cyclist, he probably deserved it. What did he do to get knocked off his bike? Well, I don't know, he fucking, some taxi driver was being a bellend and took him out, though. And uh, we had to sit behind he, a Land Rover and watch this happen. I thought, I thought the freaking cyclist would probably run a red light like they always do. No, because it was like... I don't know. I really don't know what happened. I just got told to look out and I was like, what? And then there was a cyclist on the floor and I was like, oh. Yeah. Excuse me, one moment. I always well, fucking I mean, a bunch of cyclists because they, they didn't stop or stop signs. It's probably the taxi driver's fault, but even still, if he'd just worked harder, he could have had a car. Probably, oh, it, it probably had. It, it was probably not the case if he couldn't afford a car. It's probably just 
he's one of those people who's like, but I prefer riding a bike. No, people out here can't buy cars. Everyone's poor. Because no one works. Although, to be fair, this guy looked like he actually had a job, which is strange. Someone with a job in the UK? That doesn't sound right. I know, though, there's a new Scottish girl who started at work, and she, this is like literally her. Like, she came from Scotland down here, and I said, Why did you stop here? And I was just like, You know what the rule of England is? And she was like, No. And I said, Always go south. <laughs> Always <laughs> go. That is the rule of England. Just go. Why is that the rule of England? Why is it? Because the South is more nice. <laughs> so it's more posh, and it's the always... North is where the poor people live. I'm being mentioned again. What's going on? It's Presumably, more, more people more nice. are going yeah, to try you. and slap you. Is it all coming from trackside? Um, I'm not them. seeing anything else in trackside where you're being slapped. So. The ample chat. Oh yes, it's Angel saying that his connection is quote unquote fucking great. Who's great and why? Why is it fucking Angel's connection? Kappa. Why is he saying his connection's great? I have a feeling he was probably saying it in sarcasm. What? I don't. Why is he saying this know. in my server? Be because he's fucking angel. I don't goddamn know. Is he joining or not? No. Probably not. Presumably his internet connection is taking a gigantic colossal turd right on his sandwich. So that that way he can't do anything. He should join and watch an FTO with a grill on the back of it. Right around the racetrack against road cars. Hmm. No, that does sound amazing. It sounds like it does. Hmm. 11,000 RPM is the red line on my FT, FT, FT fucking no. Oh! And into the pits. GG AI. GG, no re. Alcohol is cleaning that. I literally just put to him. I was like, "Eh." <laughs> I don't know what he means. We. <laughs> also, I need to go make Grand Turismo no two thumbnails soon. Mm. Actually, no, I don't. You'll do that after this. I've got I've got those covered for a while. We've got those covered up to episode 33, and then that's, I think, episode 24 went out today, so that's nine days. Oh shit. So you've got a little bit of content for a little while. I still need to edit down the audio for Spyro the Dragon, because I figured, oh yeah, I'll just do it in Audacity, and Audacity was being a little bitch last night. I need to record some more Toka, but I can only play that game if I like give it a week and a half in between play sessions. Wow, is it really that bad? No, I just I don't know what it is, but I just don't play it for like a I literally play it every week and a half. Record three episodes, and that's the end of that. Mostly because it's just emotionally draining dealing with Plato. Oh, have you found him yet? I killed him. Why did you do that? Because I needed to kill him so I could get the championship lead. Of course. It was worth it. Oh, there's a 3000 GT in this race. That's just not right. Oh. It is the correct. Yeah, yeah. It's the correct one as well. God damn it. That's a shame. Oh hey, and there's an Evo 7 as well. Apparently we've got a completely changed lineup from the last race. I didn't really even pay attention. Wow. Do the point standings even matter if that's the case? There's no point standings. It's a... Oh. It's where the points don't matter. Where everything's made up of the points don't matter. Oh, hey. The oh, best it's... 
Oh, it's one of those types of things. Yeah, it's single races. Ah. The next couple of championships are single races. Okay. Because after this we've got Spider and Roadster. Uh, I think there's another Stars and Stripes. Oh hey, and Pretzel. And then it's... Uh, Stars and Stripes, Spider and Roadster. And then I think it's like Race of NA Turbo, Race of Turbo. And then that's it. And then we Real move bad. on to all of the silly championships that take about 15 fucking years. Mm. We're lad. Am I doing endurance race tonight? Do, do you want her or no? Well, I don't know. I should ask you because you're the expert in endurance races. A am I? I don't know, you did one GTA. I played some GTA online yesterday. Did you? Yeah. What did you think of it? Am I savage? Wow. Million, you're gonna get a million dislikes now. Oh no. Because everyone's gonna think you're a Oh. Yeah, I guess that makes it okay. It's just like the same people will spawn. No, I, I just started shooting at ambulances in the end. <laughs> I mean, in the land of Grand Theft Auto, apparently the, the medical industry has an infinite supply of those, and the police have an infinite supply of police. Because GTA Online is really boring. Boring if you're not if it's it is very boring if there's you have no one to play with. It's just boring. If I I I, I can never play it without anyone because I just get really bored. Yeah, I tried doing like one of the missions and just gave up because I don't care. Don't care. I bought a mask for my character. Real lad. He now looks like a pug. Real. Yeah. Lad. Uh, uh, the Grand Logic of York wanted to play Demolition Racer. What about Demolition? What about Demolition Raider? Need to play Demolition Racer. I want to be around. But he's already played it. Am I missing something? Just evolved into a fucking machine debaser. Yes. We could probably get an acapella version of that song. Done if we all practice really hard. No, I've decided what the next uh, destroy all cars game is going to be. Uh, Fucking Demolition Racer? No. He's already done that. Demolition Racer, no exit. <laughs> well, he hasn't. Well, I don't think he has a Dreamcast. Dreamcast. And oh, also, you can steal mine. I need to find a Dreamcast and action replay and import the game because PAL region. American. Yeah, it was American only. Oh shit. Well, I mean, I've got a copy of the game. But yeah, um... I don't know if I'd be willing to part ways with it, but I mean, I have a copy, so it's easy to find. <laughs> yeah, you can probably find them. Pretty yeah, easy Demolition to Racer No Exit is surprisingly easy to find for Dreamcast. I wouldn't say it's the most common game for it, it but it, there's quite a few common. lying around. I'll tell you what, I'll raise some money, I'll go live with Thunder a month and we'll record a No Exit Let Play. <laughs> Did you mean that thing I've done for myself before? Yeah, but I'd do it better. Could you? Yes, I wow. could. Could you really? RZX. That doesn't mean anything. It used to. Fucking hey, my I... day. Okay there, Grandpa. I remember one fun that was called RZX. No, I don't. I really don't. It, that's fine, because I don't, because I too question why I even ever decided to call myself that when I started why the channel. Why did you call our, yourself RZX? I just said I, I question it. Yeah, no, but questioning it's fine, like, because you can question something and know the answer to it. Okay. But I don't think he knows the answer to this one. Was it just like your three favorite letters in the alphabet? Uh, RZX was the initials I used to use for when I had my 
for when my old channel used to be called Racer Planet ZX1. So I was thinking, okay, well maybe if I called myself that, people would be a little bit familiar with who I am if I came from there. Surprise! I never came from there. So I said, fuck it, I'm just gonna call myself Thunder instead. Because A, Thunder is much catchier, and B, I don't really... I was... I kind of... I kind of slowly retired the Racer Planet ZX1 name anyways. And then you heard the ACDC song, and it's like, yes. Sure. <laughs> that, um, sure, that's exactly why. Why are you actually called Fonda Fonda? Because it's... it. Well, because my full name is... You, uh, full dis uh, profile name, or... Mm. <laughs> my full Speed user thunder. name is Bloody Thunder X. But why is it the Bloody thun Thunder? Because that's a co I just want, I many years ago decided one day, you know, you know, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a PSN account soon. I probably should come up with a name. I couldn't think of a name, so I just looked at some forum aliases I had and just combined two of them together to make that. <laughs> that's seriously go. how it happened. Nice. You now know how Thunder is called Thunder. And now we yeah. should call yeah, him Eric and Young and, for the rest of his life. And no, don't ask me what the the old aliases were, because I don't remember. It would have been yeah. Bloody Something and Something Thunder. Or Thunder Something, I don't know. I mean, thankfully it was not. To be fair. One of the, was, I, I, although I don't know, I can at least confirm one of the aliases was not Bloody Tampon. Nice. I do like it. I can come up with nicknames for people on the fly, but I can't come up with anything for myself. So like I made someone laugh at work. I made someone laugh at work the other day because their name's Courtney. I'm like, I'm really sorry, but for some reason I know the name King Courtney. So if I call you King Courtney at any point, I am sorry, but that is the way I'm gonna have to remember your name. I think King Courtney. Isn't that Grand Theft Auto Three? King Courtney. I don't fucking know. I don't know. The Yardies leader. Does. Has your wife been using the car thunder? My wife doesn't get out of the car. <laughs> she is the car. <laughs> yeah, she is the car. <laughs> Thunder's wife is a car. Confirmed. Oh, oh fuck. My 1995 Dodge Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> Silicone Sally. <laughs> oh god. We call she her. <laughs> she never. She never puts the weights down because she is the weights. <laughs> we call her but, Luby bro, Lacey. Lift? She makes. She lifts me all the time. <laughs> we call. <laughs> we call that her Lu throat. We call her Luby Lacey. I'm not gonna explain <laughs> why. Luby <laughs> <laughs> Lacey. I guess that's gonna be the title of this episode. No. <laughs> yeah. well, that's like Hello, of welcome else. to the Grand Tours both three-part Luby Lacey. Oh, don't! Did I tell you about what I almost <laughs> called today's episode from the Grand Tours Mo Two? No, because it's uh, that episode where everything went to shit. Uh, I called it "We All Fall Down." I was going to call it "Fisting Watermelons," but I went against that in the end. I can't remember why. I should probably call it "Fisting Watermelons." Why were you gonna call it fisting watermelons? Because in that, what he wanted to do when this episode was over. Why are you gonna ask? No, Kirk because this is the man? episode where you and Game was having a random conversation. And I just go enough about fisting watermelons. Because I was really tired. <laughs> My question is, what what is your fascination with? Sh sh I almost said shitting watermelons, but fisting watermelons. <laughs> I like it how as soon as you come into these, they just all go to shit. It, it just goes to shit. Like, we're having a lovely discussion about fucking Craigslist, and then you come here, and now we're talking about fisting watermelons and Luby Lacey. <laughs> That's not entirely my fault, though. No, but it is. Yes, it is. No, it, it is isn't. entirely your fault. I need someone to blame. Nope. You're a blame. I, I am a blame. You are a blame. <laughs> <laughs> we're all to blame. You're to blame for my terrible aim. Oh, that was that 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 physically hurt. But yeah, we're gonna play Destruction Derby Raw next time. Nice. 
I, I agree with this choice. Because it's a cool game. It's a cool game for cool people. I need to smash out some short games after this, I think. Smash shit out of the park, sunshine. Because, like, I could, like... I kind of want to go straight into Grand Turismo 4, but at the same time, I know for my own sanity, it'd probably be better to just do a, a, some short games with them. Yeah, you're better off doing something a bit shorter so you don't burn yourself out. I want to do Vanishing Point by the end of the year. I should, should do also Vanishing do... Point. I should do Vanishing Point as well, but since I have a Dreamcast, I want to play it on that, and I kind of still want to get that one thing for the Dreamcast. Oh yeah, because it wasn't VGA working to... on emulation, was it? Yeah, I, I want to get that VGA to HDMI thing because I'm, as no, as, although I'm not as much of a quality whore as I just is, it, composite does really suck. Yeah. So I kind of want to get, and VGA is difficult to work with for recording stuff. Well, so I want to no get that. For v... it or anything, so. Yeah. yeah so, so that's why I, I want to get that. Akura thing that it's now made where it just take you plug it in and it take it could automatically converts a VJ single to HDMI so I would just need an HDMI cable and I'm good. Well, it's not like they're hard to find these days. Well, I mean, finding a an HDMI cable is like a piece of piss these days. I have about sure, fifteen hundred gonna... on my desk right now. Exactly my point. I've got my PS4 HDMI cable there. I've got the one I use for the PS2. I've got the Xbox One one that I use to connect to my TV. Uh, there's one in the back of the 360, and I'm very certain there's another one somewhere as well. And that's just I I zoned out for a second. I know you said 360. I thought for a second you said you had an HDMI cable in the back of your freezer. <laughs> this is why everything goes to one. shit when you come here. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Like it makes it, say, it, it honestly, it makes it entertaining because I can do what you just did and just zone out and just focus. I say focus on the driving. I don't even really pay attention. Like I'm at this point in Grand Turismo 3 where I just I I don't even have to really pay attention to what's going on in the game anymore. Because <laughs> like it's Grand Turismo 3, you know what's gonna happen. Do I? Yeah, you just drive around a track for a bit, and that's it really. This is the final race by the way, I think. Oh yeah, it must be because it's 15 fucking laps. Have for whatever, fun. Because for whatever reason, every single last race in this game has to be 15 laps when it comes to professional fucking league. Again, have fun. And I don't know why. I, I don't know why. Why is this this way? Because it is. Why do you curse me polyphony? Because fuck you, I make good decisions. Good. Everybody cover yourselves in oil, I'm gonna light this match and the last one to burn wins. Fuck your mother or I'm going to get oxyclean. Fuck your hair, fuck your bed, fuck your eyes. And fuck your now. Fuck your nan. No, don't actually do no, that. No, don't do that. That's... That would be bad. Illegal in at least two states in America. I'm sure it is, to be honest. It's probably legal in most of them, though. Well, I mean, in Alabama, I do believe it's legal to marry a first cousin. However, it is illegal to buy sex toys. But the question is... What if your first cousin is a sex toy? Then I don't think you're supposed to shove her inside your ass. Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Because oh. she likes it? I thought like you're that. supposed to just buy a dildo and slap it on your nipples a bit. Well, you can't do that. I just I just explained that's illegal in Alabama. No, but if you marry her because she's your first cousin... Yes. <laughs> Thunder, it's all your fault. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jesus fuck, man. Stop putting me on the, the spot. But yeah, what do we do? Demolition... De not Demolition Race, we've already done that. Do we do yeah. Destruction Derby Raw, or do we do Vanishing Point? Vanishing Point. Destruction Derby Raw. But bro... Mercury 
I'll do exactly. it. Bro, but bro, can anyone stop the mechanical man? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just... <laughs> then who, Scotian? Please enlighten me. John Cena. <laughs> but how can you? How can he stop the mechanical ma'am if he can't? If no one's able to see him, stop dude. He the does thirties and thirties. <laughs> the what? He he does thirties and thirty zones. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From thirty to thirty. <laughs> We're doing a thirty, and a thirty. <laughs> Yeah, fucking auto geek, still great. <laughs> Biggest fucking meme in the world. I want to know what the next car is. If it's both foreign and domestic, it sounds strange. Freaking. I thought it was a Pantera, but it doesn't look anything like Pantera, so I'm assuming it's not. It could be a Ford Festiva. It could be a Holden. It could be like a V8 Vantage or something. Maybe. But, uh. It's got the key frickin from the Ford K. The freaking the freaking Ford Ford GT. It's like this car is a manual because you have to drive the car. Yeah. He's not wrong. <laughs> I like how he owns like two Ferraris that are like exactly the same, like a 360 and a 430. <laughs> like they're both the same color. They're both convertibles, and they both have the freaking manual. They're indistinguishable, almost. Well, one's a 360 and one's a 48. No, it's not. It's a 430. <laughs> we, we, we rev it all the way to 11,000. Make sure you mi make sure to miss the tree. Watch out for that tree. What? Dead splat. I've got a question. <laughs> For the Spider and Roadster Cup, can we use the S2000 LM car? Probably not. Because technically it is a convertible. Try. You gotta remember, this game doesn't do convertible car classification. It just like lists a bunch. It just whitelists a bunch of cars and says, "Hey, you can use these." Hey, do you know what the best endurance is gonna be? What? The one where you have to drive stock MX5s. Does it? Do they have to actually physically be stopped? Yes. What? You can't modify them. I, I don't even know if you can put tires on them. What? Yeah, there's an endurance in this race. I think it's the Spider and Roadster endurance or something. Uh, <laughs> mommy, the evil man is touching me in the no-no zone again. No, Derek. Okay. That's just John. <laughs> no, Derek. Who the fuck is Derek? <laughs> and why is he touching me there? No, you're Derek. John's the one touching you. I'm not fucking Who Derek. Who the fuck is John? Sick perverted motherfucker. Well, I mean, at least he's not as bad as Crazy Uncle Steve. Who's Crazy Uncle Steve? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> he knows what I'm going for. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's not that, it's the fact that you're just saying that it's amusing me to me for some fucked up reason. What, about Crazy Uncle Steve having sex with the garden gnomes again? What? <laughs> oh, Christ, that! Yeah, that. Oh, for the love of fuck. There are some jokes that I cannot forget. For the love forget. of fuck? You... I can't wait for the Bagel Club at Wards again. They're gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, boy. It was so fun last time. Hey, fun that you're excited we... for the relaunch of BCPW. And before we forget to actually relaunch it. Hey, I mean, WrestleMania was supposed to be the relaunch, and that happened. Clearly. We should do SummerSlam, I guess. No, we need, to do... we need to do Super. Okay, no, that's an old name. Because I can call it Spunk Slam if it's bad. Come on, it's just call it ma'am. I'm gonna no, I'm just gonna call the episode Sarah. <laughs> what? Just call the episode Sarah. We're gonna overtake the R34. Fuck your R34. 
It's in the wrong colour. Your mother in the air. We all know R34s are meant to be pink. We what all know R34s. Uh, sour. Sauerkraut. A 105.998 means it goes into 12th place. On the hot lap, wait a minute. The hot lap classic. Speaking of which, I should probably make like a kind of a video, a certain video soon. Are you going to make a rival no. to the hot lap classic called the hot lap modern? No. Okay. I'm honestly thinking of making like a video, like a... This is this is like a serious thing. Like I, I kind of really want to ask people what would they want to see for the channel. Like what would they what would interest them? Um, donkey porn. Thanks for your not actually serious no, answer. I mean seriously, I don't fucking know. Oh, ask Grand Theft Auto where that got them most wanted video is. <laughs> I asked him what was going on with it recently. He said he still has no computer for it. <laughs> what? What? His computer How broke can you a few months videos? ago. What? Has he not thought His of like broke. buying a new one? I'm sure he has, but I'm guessing he doesn't have the money for it. I don't know. There's a reason why I haven't done it yet. If because it has, he's, he's, he's missing the fucking stuff for it. I would love to do the most wanted one, because then I could finally say, fucking, I'm done, but... No, no, you just want to do the most wanted one, because you wanted to get fucking, often, like, 300,000 views again and reap the rewards. I mean, that Underground 2 one has all, over 400,000, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and you've got subscribers through the tits for it, so... Yeah, I miss those days. <laughs> Did you get subscribers through the tits the other day for something, though, if I remember rightly? No. Nah. I checked my social blade. The most... I, there was a, one day I had, like, 12 subscribers, but usually these days I'm lucky enough to get a few subscribers now again. In fact, there was one day not too long ago I lost it. I... But my, after oh, one yeah, day I lost you, a subscriber. YouTube did a thing. They did the clear out. I'm at, like, 592, so... I would like to be able to, but yeah, like, we're getting it, like, I, I, I don't, like, I don't know, like, I shouldn't seem so down, but it does kind of, like, sometimes I really do want to be able to actually kind of get somewhere and, you know, be a little bit more relevant, but I'm really Ooh, not. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's Hello. that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I didn't use you for something else a while ago. Not at all. No. How much no. are you worth? That's the main question. Two dollars. Eighty-seven thousand dollars. Excellent. There we go. Anyways, we are on eighty point one percent complete. Yay! We got eighty-five bonus cards apparently. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, farewell.